Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to add a watermark such as a draft or trademark or copyright notice on your Excel spreadsheet. This should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial and without further ado, let's jump right into it. So the first thing you guys are going to have to do is go online and locate a transparent image. This is draft or whatever you're basically looking for. So unfortunately, it doesn't really look like Excel really makes it that easy for you guys to actually input your built-in one. So if there's something in Excel, you don't just type something in and it automatically appears. So once you have that image saved somewhere on your desktop, and it didn't take me very long to find an image I felt was good for this. So we're going to jump into it once you have that image. And you want to go ahead and left click on the insert tab up at the top. And then you want to go ahead and left click on the header and footer button over on the right. Okay, so now you want to left click on the picture button right here. So left click on that one time. And then where it says from a file, you want to left click on that as well. So I already have a picture saved here. So I'm going to just double click on that. Left click on from a file. And now I'm going to select my draft image here. So I'm going to double click on that one time. And then once you've done that, just click outside of it. And you can see now it shows draft right here. So definitely a neat little feature to know about. And now if you actually wanted to change the dimensions of the picture, that's pretty easy to do as well. All you would have to do is just left click on format picture. And you have the ability to move it around as well. So you have different options here. So the height of the image, the width, how far you want it to go. So we can make it smaller here as well. So we only wanted to make it one inch. So it definitely gives you different options to play with here. And you can crop from the left to right. You can change the brightness settings of it as well. So again, just gives you guys different ideas what you guys can play around with. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.